and we're going to come over to this little cabinet. It's chipped away. We really like to use this cabinet again, so what we're going to do is brush on the primer tray to soak through. Okay, let that soak for about 10 minutes. I've got some epoxy that I've mixed up. And you can just buy a cheap plastic cutting board. This works really well. It has a nice hole in it that you can hold on to it when you're mixing your epoxy and you're doing your work. And screwed it off. about 24 hours. We'll have a good solid surface that we can re-drill put the cornice back together. Concrete repair, first of all. Gonna clean out all the loose material. Good. Make sure it's good and dry. Come in with our primitrate so that it's going to soak in deep down. It's going to bond more than on the surface. Concrete is a porous material, so it's really a good idea to use the primitrate. I'm going to mix up the epoxy and then I'm going to tint it. So these are our tinting drops. This is called Weathered Gray. A couple drops. Nice light gray color, and we're just going to fill in. We're going to get outstanding bonding strength. So this crack is not going to come apart again. And there we have it. Again, it's going to take about 24 hours to cure. I think you barely have to give that a light sanding so that it's smooth with the surface. While this fixing the bottomless hole, as you can see, we've re done the repair right here. It's a very difficult repair to do if you have a hole in the wall. How do you back it? Usually, people take and put a backer piece in and screws and it takes a tremendous amount of time of tape and spackle and cover up and sanding. FlexTech is extremely strong and perfect for an application like this. We're going to use just a little bit of the Primatrate on the inside. Not really necessary, but just a little bit. Help it stick on. Okay, for demonstration purposes, what we've done is we've cut round circle just to, to basically take up material and fill in.
We had a customer who used this when they blew in insulation into her house. She had small holes just like this every two feet. And if she would have had to have had a plasterer come in, it would have been a tremendous amount of labor, probably reskinning the whole wall. But as you can see, there's before, we've just glued the circle in, and there's after, after we've sanded it. You can sand it completely, flush and smooth with the surface, prime it with a good latex primer and put a coat of paint on it, and it's extremely strong. You're never going to know that the repair was done. See, I'm pushing on it. You couldn't do that if you repaired it with joint compound.